What up with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. Today, we're going to be talking about something really, really cool I've been wanting to talk about for a while, and that is how you can use any any DAW software. We're talking about Logic, Pro Tools, Studio One, whatever the case may be to control your production elements. Most people have told you over the years you have to have Ableton in order to do these things. It has to be Ableton. You got to have Ableton. You got to have Ableton. It's got to be Ableton. Get Ableton. You need Ableton. That's what they'll tell you. But I'm here to tell you that you don't have to have Ableton to be able to do this because we're going to leverage uh, external MIDI which that's what you use inside of Ableton anyway, but we're gonna leverage external MIDI to control our production elements uh, from one computer to another. So to make this work, you're gonna need a few things. One, you're gonna need a Mac that uh, you have all of your tracks and your that you're gonna be sending the signals out and you're gonna need a production computer that's gonna be sending out uh, your cues for your uh, production elements, whether it's your lighting, whether it's your lyrics or whatever else you're trying to control uh, you know, in a production type situation. Uh, so that, that's what you're going to need. You're going to need a stable internet connection, stable internet connection uh, to, to connect both of these uh, computers. And we're not talking about a public net network. I suggest a private network connected via Ethernet. Whether you connect both of the computers together via with one Ethernet cable, you can do that if your computers are in the same area. Uh, or you connect them both to a router uh, and do that kind of flow uh, where it comes to it. So there, there are ways to do it, but I suggest using a private uh, network to dis disseminate all of this stuff, all right? So you're going to need stable internet connection. You're going to need two computers, uh, and uh, you're going to need, of course, uh, some kind of presentation software, whether it is ProPresenter or in the case of what I'm going to be using today, ProClaim. You're going to need uh, whatever DAW software that you're going to be using to send out the signals. All right, so let's jump into it and I'm going to show you how you can set this up really quickly and really easily. So here on the iMac, we're going to open up this app called uh, Audio MIDI set it, Setup. It looks just like this. You can get to it just by hitting the command space bar, typing in Audio MIDI Setup and opening the app that way. Now it looks kind of like this. If you don't see uh, your MIDI studio, uh, it just looks like this. You just pull up this or you don't see anything at all. Go to Window, click on Show MIDI Studio. You'll get this little dialog box like that. Uh, what you're going to do is we're going to turn on the make sure that the IAC driver is on. That's going to be important. Uh, and the network uh, driver is on as well and enabled. And if you don't see anything here that says session, hit the little plus, create a new session. Well, we don't really need a new session because I've already created one, but we're going to use this session that I've already created. And as you can see, my MacBook Pro is showing up because it's on the, it's a device that's on the network. Another setting that you want to be mindful of is where it says down here, anyone who can who may connect, connect to me, make sure to set to anyone. If you have it on only computers in my directory, it can cause some issues. Um, and again, we're using a private network, so you won't have to worry about any unwanted connections or anything. Thing to your computer. Over here in routings, uh, I have where the little arrow is pointing in, I have the IAC driver bus selected, that's important. Uh, and then you have over here on the other Mac where I've opened up audio MIDI setup as well, uh, I have network session set in the first dialog box going out. So we're sending signals out and it's being received here in network session and sent out via the IAC um, bu uh, bus to uh, the software that we're going to use to control uh, our lights and lyrics and all of that stuff like that. So once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is click on any computer. It doesn't matter whether you do it on the host computer or the, the production computer or whatever. Uh, just click on that device. Like I'll click over here on my MacBook where it says John Mike, John's iMac and we'll hit connect. And now both of those uh, devices are connected. You can see over here if I click on John Mike's macbook pro you can see that we're connected over here so these computers are now talking to each other all right so now that we've got everything connected via the network and all of that stuff like that let's go into the software aspect of it and how we make these things uh talk to each other that way so on the imac here i have loaded up uh proclaim uh software presentation software a really really dope software i really love it it runs about 19.99 a month uh, if you're buying it monthly, if you do a yearly thing, it's $16.99. I, I don't get paid to say this. I have no affiliation with Proclaim. I just think it's a dope, dope, dope software uh, to use or what have you when you're in a church 
presentation situation. So uh, really, really dope software. Plenty of tutorials online on that. You can look that up and check this out more uh, thing. But what we want to focus on and Proclaim is this MIDI uh, input in the settings. So we're going to jump over here. And I have set up under MIDI input uh, a few MIDI commands. And you can add them. And the same works inside of lighting. You can do lighting uh, the same way. And we're going to just do lyrics and slides and stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna hit add command and under here where it says select command you can choose any of these particular commands um, Right here that you see from next slide previous slide yada 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 blah 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 You can pretty much just about MIDI map anything inside of the software uh, So if I choose like next slide I can if I had a, con uh, a MIDI controller connected I can just play on that or whatever, but we want to configure it manually and go over here and add the note that we want to use to trigger it. And that's pretty much how I set it up. So I set this up basically to jump to different parts of the song. I just set them up as verses. Everything's a verse. Verse one, verse two, yada, yada, yada. And that com that corresponds to the different slides here inside of Proclaim. So here on my MacBook, uh, I, have a, I have Logic loaded up. And it is uh, set up inside of here. Like I said, you can use any software, Pro Tools, Studio One, uh, whatever the case may be, as long as you have the ability to export out using a external MIDI track. That's what you want to do. I opened up an external MIDI track just by hitting the plus, going to external MIDI, and setting all of that up right there. So that's how you do that. I have that set up, and I have my piano roll down here. So for instance, if I hit this, MIDI note right here, it jumps to verse one. Click this MIDI note, it jumps to verse two, and so on and so forth. So I can jump to any of those verses using uh, just those MIDI commands right there, those MIDI notes. So what I have my track loaded up here, which is King of Glory uh, by Todd Delaney. Uh, you can get it on the site. And um, we're just going to see where the first verse needs to fall. Right, so it needs to fall at um, it needs to fall at nineteen bar nineteen. So what I'm going to do is is hit a right click and create an empty MIDI region, and inside that MIDI region, I'm going to add that note that triggers that slide, which in this case is um, C sharp negative two. All right, uh, so we'll add that note there. So now let's back up and let's test it out. So let's just say we're here on this slide that just says worship him, whatever the case may be. The song is just beginning. And now when we go through it, I just press play. Let me back up a little bit to give it some context. Let's watch what happens. So now you're there. Now I noticed there was kind of a delay so what I may want to do to give it some special, just jump it up a bar inside of uh, Logic, so that way it lands about the, the it lands on the screen about the same time that it lands, um, you know, it lands on the song in the tracks. One, two, three, four, five, six. See what I'm saying? That's a little bit, a little bit quicker if I have it send that note out. Uh, about a bar ahead of time it has chance uh, time for the transition to jump in so we would do the same thing you kind of get the picture if you're if you're kind of a student enough you can kind of see how this works I would just jump here and see what the next section so right here is where I would create my next MIDI region uh, just a bar or so before it and then we jump down here and add it in that note right there. So let's just take a look at look at how this would work in a service situation. So on the iMac here, I'm gonna jump it up and I'm gonna go on air, so on and so forth. And um, you know, you got your countdown, all of that. Let's say we've gotten past the countdown. We're on this thing, they're doing introduction. We start the tracks. Let's just watch what happens by itself without us doing anything. The worship leader is giving, you know, the exhortation for the song and all of that. We've got the production computer queued up. It's playing out 
to the thing. So as you can see there, it's you know, perfectly uh, synced up with the track there. And we'll watch it go into the chorus. Here we go. Just like that. You got everything set up to where uh, it can go and you would ideally go through uh, and just add all of your MIDI notes all the way across your song where they're supposed to go to send that trigger out to that. So that's pretty much my standpoint. Like I said on the front end, don't let people tell you that you have to have Ableton to be able to do these sorts of things, running your lights, your lyrics, uh, all of those things like that. If you have an app or a, you know, a DAW or what have you that can send out external MIDI, you can do this because you, again, you might be at a church where you don't uh, you don't need to repeat sections and loop. You run your tracks in Logic. You run them from start to finish. That's what we do at our church. We run everything from start to finish. We, we do it just like the record. We don't really change or add anything. If we do, we do that before we do the song. We adjust the tracks to where they'll be the way that they need to be. But pretty much we follow that song from left to right and there's no you know, repeating or anything like that going on. So if you're that type of church or that type of ministry or that type of production, live shows, all of those things, you got it planned out how it's going to be, but you want to coordinate your lyrics, you don't have to get Ableton. You can do it right here uh, using Logic, Pro Tools, any of software that you use. Uh, so that's what I wanted to show you guys. I hope that it helped you. Uh, you know how we do. Follow us, subscribe, do all those things like that for more videos like this. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video. I'm out. Holla at your boy.